I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Question 42.1 Questioner, I am going to make a statement and ask you to comment on its degree of accuracy. I am assuming that the balanced entity would not be swayed either towards positive or negative emotions by any situation which he might confront. By remaining unemotional in any situation, the balanced entity may clearly discern the appropriate and necessary responses in harmony with the law of one for each situation. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is an incorrect application of the balancing which we have discussed. The exercise of first experiencing feelings and then consciously discovering their antitheses within the being has as its objective not the smooth flow of feelings both positive and negative while remaining unswayed but rather the objective of becoming unswayed. This is a simpler result and takes much practice, shall we say. The catalyst of experience works in order for the learned teachings of this density to occur. However, if there is seen in the being a response even if it is simply observed, the entity is still using the catalyst for learned teaching. The end result is that the catalyst is no longer needed. Thus this density is no longer needed. This is not indifference or objectivity but a finely tuned compassion and love which sees all things as love. This seeing elicits no response due to catalytic reactions. Thus the entity is now able to become co-creator of experiential occurrences. This is the truer balance. Question 42.2 Questioner, I will attempt to make an analogy. If an animal, shall I say, a bull, in a pen attacks you because you have wandered into his pen, you get out of his way rapidly but you do not blame him. You do not have much of an emotional response other than the response that he might damage you. However, if you encounter another self in his territory and he attacks you, your response may be more of an emotional nature creating physical bodily responses. Am I correct in assuming that when your response to the animal and to the other self is that of seeing both as creator and loving both and understanding their action in attacking you is the action of their free will then you have balanced yourself correctly in this area. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is basically correct. However, the balanced entity will see in the seeming attack of another self the causes of this action which are, in most cases, of a more complex nature than the cause of the attack of the second density bull as was your example. Thus this balanced entity would be open to many more opportunities for service to a third density other self. Question 42.3 Questioner would a perfectly balanced entity feel any emotional response in being attacked by the other self? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. The response is love. Question 42.4 Questioner, in the illusion that we now experience it is difficult to maintain this response especially if the attack results in physical pain, but I assume that this response should be maintained even through physical pain or loss of life. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct and further is of a major or principal importance in understanding, shall we say, the principle of balance. Balance is not indifference but rather the observer not blinded by any feelings of separation but rather fully imbued with love. Question 42.5 Questioner, in the last session you made the statement that we, that is Ra, spent much time space in the fifth density balancing the intense compassion that we had gained in the fourth density. Could you expand on this concept with respect to the material you just discussed? Answer, I am Ra. The fourth density, as we have said, abounds in compassion. This compassion is folly when seen through the eyes of wisdom. It is the salvation of third density but creates a mismatch in the ultimate balance of the entity. Thus we, as a social memory complex of fourth density, had the tendency towards compassion even to martyrdom in aid of other selves. When the fifth density harvest was achieved we found that in this vibratory level flaws could be seen in the efficacy of such unrelieved compassion. We spent much time space in contemplation of those ways of the Creator which imbue love with wisdom. 
Question 42.6. Questioner, I would like to try to make an analogy for third density of this concept. Many entities here feel great compassion for relieving the physical problems of third density of the selves by administering to them in many ways, with food if there is hunger as there is now in the African nations, by bringing them medicine if they feel that there is a need to minister to them medically, and being selfless in all of these services to a very great extent. This is creating a vibration that is in harmony with green ray or fourth density but it is not balanced with the understanding of fifth density that these entities are experiencing catalysts and a more balanced administration to their needs will be to provide them with the learning necessary to reach the state of awareness of fourth density than it will be to minister to their physical needs at this time. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is incorrect. To a mind, body, spirit complex which is starving, the appropriate response is the feeding of the body. You may extrapolate from this. On the other hand, however, you are correct in your assumption that the green ray response is not as refined as that which has been imbued with wisdom. This wisdom enables the entity to appreciate its contributions to the planetary consciousness by the quality of its being without regard to activity or behavior which expects results upon visible planes. Question 42.7 Questioner, then why do we have the extreme starvation problem in, generally, the area of Africa at this time? Is there any metaphysical reason for this, or is it purely random? Answer, I am Ra. Your previous assumption was correct as to the catalytic action of this starvation and ill health. However, it is within the free will of an entity to respond to this plight of other selves, and the offering of the needed foodstuffs and substances is an appropriate response within the framework of your learned teachings at this time which involve the growing sense of love for and service to other selves. Question 42.8 Questioner what is the difference in terms of energy center activation between a person who represses emotional responses to emotionally charged situations and the person who is balanced and, therefore, truly unswayed by emotionally charged situations? Answer, I am Ra. This query contains an incorrect assumption. To the truly balanced entity no situation would be emotionally charged. With this understood, we may say the following, the repression of emotions depolarizes the entity insofar as it then chooses not to use the catalytic action of the space-time present in a spontaneous manner, thus dimming the energy centers. There is, however, some polarization towards positive if the cause of this repression is consideration for other selves. The entity which has worked long enough with the catalyst to be able to feel the catalyst but not find it necessary to express reactions is not yet balanced but suffers no depolarization due to the transparency of its experiential continuum. Thus the gradual increase in the ability to observe one's reaction and to know the self will bring the self ever closer to a true balance. Patience is requested and suggested, for the catalyst is intense upon your plane and its use must be appreciated over a period of consistent learned teaching.